Kid Rock has built himself a massive property on a hill outside Nashville, and it's modeled on the most famous house in the USA, the White House. Inside there, he's got a golden toilet and the bathroom is fitted with, you guessed it, a gold shower. As well as that, he's got a hunting lodge, bowling alley, his own gas station, a church, and barber shop. According to some who've visited the place, it's a complete party house with only one guest bedroom and one guest bathroom, saving the rest of the space for the rave. Although there are conflicting reports on this, former Fox News host Tucker Carlson was given a look around the place while it was being built. Showing off some incredible angles of the as yet unfinished property in July 2022, Tucker's remarks, there's a lot of gold and a lot of golden eagles. This is said to be Kid Rock's latest and greatest piece of real estate, but the man has lived in many a mansion over the years as a true to life American rock star. He's lived in some of the most epic and grand estates from Nashville to his hometown of Detroit. However, in 2017, Rock sold his estate in Malibu and traded it for the big time. But while his very own White House was being built, Kid Rock was living in a trailer. We'll explain all this and more in today's video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and follow, and now let's get into it. Kid Rock's childhood home was a nearly 6,000 square foot luxury house in Michigan, sitting on 5.5 acres. It included five beds, seven baths, a five car garage, along with a partially finished walkout and guest house. There's also a three-stall horse barn, regulation tennis court, and in-ground pool. The 22-room house was renovated in 2004 and also has a hot tub and wet bar. Kid Rock is well known for pushing limits and representing down-home roads. Despite a reported net worth of over $150 million, this music superstar is living in a double-wide trailer, and not even long ago. What else would you expect from America's bad boy? He has lived in some of the most epic and grand estates from Nashville, Nashville to his hometown of Detroit and even Malibu. In 2017, he sold his estate in Malibu and traded it for a simpler lifestyle in his current trailer home, located on a stunning piece of land in Tennessee. He previously explained that this suits him much better, saying in an interview, I live in a double wide trailer. It's not like I require a lot, you know, I've learned to downsize through the years and it really made me happier. But the man still had big plans. In 2015, reports claim that Kid Rock purchased 102 acres in the area of White's Creek, just outside Nashville, Tennessee. He bought the trailer home for $800,000, which was nearby a multi-million dollar home he built on 68 acres. He ended up using this sprawling land as the location for his mobile home. The rock star called Nashville a part-time home since 2005 and previously split his time between there, his native Detroit, Alabama, in LA. A few years ago when Kid Rock finished his song Tennessee Mountaintop, he hosted one of his many parties at his place just outside Nashville. He likes to entertain here and reportedly sets up a buffet for his guests behind his camo double wide trailer, offering views that stretch 15 miles to the Nashville skyline. Now, Kid Rock claims that he stumbled upon this Tennessee property by accident. His car could only make it part of the way up a narrow winding road, so he parked and walked to the top instead. When he saw the view, he was sold. Explaining why he chose a trailer as his residence, he said it was more impulsive than anything else. Kid Rock had actually planned to build a cabin on his property in Alabama, but he wanted it sooner than it would be ready. So he decided to check check out a manufactured home retailer he drove by. In an interview, he recounted the story, saying, I didn't remember when the last time I looked at a trailer was. I kind of scared this lady and her husband, and I said, what's your most expensive trailer? I was a little impatient that day. She said, sir, that's $89,000. I was sitting there like, can I look at it? She looked at her husband, and I was like, are you guys actually thinking about it? You might not let me see it. When they showed Kid Rock the trailer, and he discovered the manufacturer could customize it with any design changes, including reinforcing a wall, or leaving the finish blank so he could add a vinyl wrap, he was sold. Kid Rock ordered two trailers right then and there, one for his Tennessee property and another for his plot of land in Alabama. These would hold him down while he put plans together for his opus majus of homes, his White House. 
Before we get to that, let's check out some of his former home, which he lived in from 2006 to 2017. Well, he bought this one for $11.6 million in Malibu, California, located in the residential Point Doom community, which is highly favored by celebrities. His former spread sat on 1.5 acres and had the ultimate privacy thanks to the lush greenery surrounding the home, as well as secure gates. Kid Rock's former residence was entered through carved wooden doors and inside offered over 8,000 square feet of space, as well as five beds and multiple baths throughout. The home had an airy vibe with many fresh white walls and floor to ceiling windows. There was also an ideal indoor outdoor vibe to take advantage of the stunning settings. Serene interiors featured figures inspired by the spiritual culture of Bali. All of the white was complemented by dark, hand-carved wooden columns, beams, and doors, giving an earthiness to the place. There was an open plan, main living room with a full glass wall on one side and elsewhere a cozier den brightened by high gloss beadboard walls. Elsewhere, Kid Rock's former home boasted a large home movie theater, fitness studio, gourmet kitchen, and sauna in the master suite. The large master bath also offered white walls, dark wood accents, and walls of windows. In addition to the upscale main residence, the property also came complete with a guest house with outdoor shower. Also on the grounds, the focal point was a massive and beautiful infinity pool. Kid Rock listed and delisted his Malibu home many times since 2013 until he sold it at a loss for $9.5 million. Kid Rock also spent a lot of his time living in Detroit over the years, considering it's where he's originally from. His former mansion there, a grand and traditional estate, popped up on the market in 2021 for $2.1 million. Located in a very exclusive subdivision in Detroit, his home was one of only a few in the area that also sat right on the waterfront of the Detroit River. And this one looked a lot like the White House too. In fact, the mayor of Detroit was one of his neighbors here. Kid Rock's former crib offered a full and breathtaking view of the river. Not to mention there was a handy boathouse with an outdoor shower, jet ski lifts, and an upper deck ideal for entertaining guests. The boathouse and shower were part of an extensive renovation in the years while the rock star lived here, which also included an attached two-car heated garage and two outdoor TVs, complete with a state-of-the-art entertainment system. The interior entryway offered a sweeping staircase and a sparkling chandelier. Throughout the mansion, there were multiple balconies that overlooked the grounds and a handful of living rooms, many with fireplaces. The gourmet kitchen had high-end appliances like a large stainless steel range and the formal dining room was painted in a bold red theme. Other features in the Detroit home included a full bar, games room, custom master bath, and a lower level family room. Outside on the grounds, there was nearly an acre of land which was perfectly manicured and had sitting areas, patios, and more for hosting guests. Okay guys, it's now time to discuss the house we all want to learn more about, Kid Rock's White House, which I forgot to mention before, also comes with its own church. The country rap rocker says it took him 20 years to build. As mentioned, it was built on that hill he once had walked up and fell in love with the views. NFL star Derek Wolf claims he's been to the Mystery Mansion, which has a golden toilet, and described it as the wildest blank you've ever seen. The real White House is 55,000 square feet and holds 16 bedrooms. Kid Rock's White House is 27,000 square feet, and as per Joe Rogan, has only two bedrooms because the rest of the house is to party in. Other outlets say it actually has four bedrooms, but either way, that's a lot of rec space for a bowling alley and a real big bed that Zach Brown found and treated to Kid Rock for a few signs. Rock told Carlson that Brown also found the brass eagle that sits on the peak of the home's exterior. He had it plated with 24 karat gold too, because why not? Seeing as everything was built custom, we have little idea what Kid Rock paid for all this property and gold toiletries, but we could imagine he sucked a considerable amount of money into his forever home. Let us know which of these homes you like the most and if you would ever want to live in a themed house like the White House. I'll see you all in another video. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. 
Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do, and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It with Kara and we can chat.